So now we've cleared up a few more details. We can take a look at our element placed on a page. Uh, and you still see all this structure. Now everything that comes with the blank document we created, the columns, the rows, the margins, this is actually not visible. Obviously, these are just guidelines to help us set up the content. If you want to see how your page would actually look, you can hit the W key on the keyboard and you'll have a preview of it. And if you hit W again, you'll go to, uh, to the working mode. And you can also find this at the bottom of the toolbar here, the last option. You can switch between preview and normal. This is preview, this is normal. It's, you might need to do that, especially when you're in a text box and then when you hit W, it's just gonna type W. But as an idea, you can just hit escape and now if you hit W, you'll get a preview of the document. Now, we'll still have to do something to this, but before that, let's set up this upper area here, especially the two images here. So we have this, the logo of the magazine as an image, and we also have this cartoon that we're gonna place in a box. So the first thing we're gonna place is the logo, and we know it's supposed to be aligned at the left edge here. The file is already the proper size, so you just need to drop it and do a single click, not a click and drag, so it comes in at the size it's supposed to be. And I'm going to zoom in and just vertically for now, I don't really care. We'll set this up later to be where it should be. Uh, but horizontally, it's supposed to be right at the edge here. And now I am also going to bring in this cartoon is the first file here, 857. Just drop it here and again just click. And you see this comes in much bigger. If we want to, we can make it the proper size from the start. Or we can just hold control and shift to resize the box and the image proportionally and I'm just gonna make it the width of a column so a bit more just again holding control and shift so as not to squish this and making sure it's aligned exactly at the corner here you see even that small fraction of a millimeter can be annoying but there it is uh, now i am going to move this logo so it's exactly on the same line as the cartoon i'm just going to click on it and drag it and i'll hold shift to force it to move perfectly vertically it moves to the side as well but it depends how far you go and i'm gonna move it until i see this green line that connects the two objects that shows me they're aligned i'm just gonna drop and i can come back here to check if i haven't moved this i haven't and now i'm just going to make this box wider leave some space between the two and I can center the image in the box I'm going to click the circle to select the image hold shift and move it horizontally and I'm going to get another green line when it's exactly in the center of the box I can also do this by pressing this button here with cent which centers the content in the box but now I did it this way We'll come back a bit later to create the outlines for this. But for now, this is what we wanted. 